two six and silver, guy with a gun. Guy with a gun? Check outside. You good, you good, you good. Okay. He's running, he got the gun in his waistband. Over, get over, get over, get over! Got your fucking self shot today. It's your problem. Stand up. Stand up. What is it? 42 caliber. Pistol. Yeah. 22 caliber pistol. Yeah, he was trying. He was trying to get it out. He couldn't get it out. He was trying. He was trying to drop it. Yeah. Yeah. You're out of pull it, pull it. Why did you have that? Have what? That gun. Right there. Oh, yeah, no gun. Right by the, yeah, by the This one. Huh? This one. The one that we took out your pocket. That it was, it was in your pocket? Yes. The one you were trying to pull out of your pocket. They have it on film, dude. <laughs> I was with the Philadelphia police, attempting to understand why the city has one of the highest rates of violent crime and homicide in America. How typical is that of what you see out here in, in, in the rough areas? This goes on every day. This goes on every day. Does it? Every day. Yep. Every day. What do you do if he gets his hand on that weapon? He was, he was going to get shot. Absolutely. Who by? But by me. <laughs> he yeah. kept trying to get it out, get it out. He probably kept getting hung up the way he was pulling it out. He was probably yeah, he was trying. His pocket. He was trying the whole time. But in a way, then, he um, he should be relieved that he didn't get his hand He should be he's relieved that he's, he didn't get it out and he's not dead, yes. Yep. Absolutely. Absolutely. Most of the violence in Philadelphia is confined to a relatively small area. Officer Bill Hunter, known on the street simply as Hunter, works plain clothes in criminal intelligence in the 24th district. Although there were a lot of nice areas in Philadelphia, this is one of the more violent blocks in the city. What kind of crime do you see down here? This is a very high volume narcotic sale block. Homicide and uh, violent crime too? On this block, yes. So what are the challenges in terms of policing a, uh, a block like this one that you face? Cooperation. Really? Why? This, this block, I would say, I get absolutely no cooperation. Why not? I would say most of the blocks that I've investigated in this area of the city, um, I would have a hard time finding many houses on this block that are not involved in the trade. Really? Yes. In the drug trade? Yes. This is probably, believe it or not, the most profitable heroin block in North Philadelphia. So it doesn't look like they're making much money. Well, I think the guy who runs it is making the money, and he don't live here. Who lives down here? Now, there's still people who live here. There's still good people around. Not many, but there's still good people around. Where are you going, Hunter? You going inside? Is that blood, Hunter? It looks like blood. I mean, they could have simulated something to make it look like blood. What does this place get used for? Selling drugs, doing drugs. There's a whole little downstairs bit as well. Yeah, I wouldn't go down there, There's though. more blood over here. It says 666. Hunter grew up in the area he now polices. Many of the houses he knew have since become abandoned and been torn down by the city authorities. But he still has friends in the neighborhood. Yo, what are you doing over here? Up, All right, man. How you doing, mate? All right. 
Not good seeing you here, though. Yeah, no. All right. Do you want to talk to him? Will he talk? No, not not here on this corner. I won't want him to talk because I won't get a, want to get him killed. He's a heroin junkie. Is he? Yeah, I've known him since he was little. <laughs> I know why you playing, man. <laughs> The big fat guy? Yeah. What's his story? He's the drug lord out here. Is he? Yes, he is. He's the boss. Of how many blocks? Maybe six. Really? He orders the homicides. That he'll, guy? Yeah, he'll pay someone to do it instead of doing it himself. You get on OK with him? I get along fine with him. I, I do. I get along just fine with him. like him? him. If, I, I, I have a mutual it's understanding and respect for him. If I catch him doing something wrong, I'm locking him up. But when I'm on the street, and if he knows, if he was to think that one of his workers disrespected us or did something in front of us, he would he would probably have them beat. What would qualify as disrespecting you? But if they were to either like maybe take a punch at us, say something derogatory, he would make sure that that don't happen again. Because he knows that if they do that, then we're going to be back again. He'd rather us not be around. So he takes the opposite approach with us. Garcio, William 16, Mathis, Sir. Vargas, Sir. William 17, Fry, Ramos, William 18, Prosser. I was at the headquarters of the site unit, an elite team made up of both uniformed and plain clothes officers. They're known for using aggressive tactics to shut down the most violent high crime areas. William 25, Hornburg. William 26 is William 7 with Thomas Jones, Bissell. Left base. Forward to your post. March. Our main goal is to get guns off the street. And, and the guns are being used in the guns are being used in homicides and assaults and stuff, but what, what's yeah, causing them? It's drugs, it's it's hard to explain because they they'll shoot you these young kids today will shoot you for anything for looking at them wrong. And you see out here, we don't get a lot of help from the community because it's accepted. Like, the crime's accepted to some of the mothers and stuff like that. Now, you have a lot of good people out here in the neighborhoods, too, the older people and stuff like that, that you're out here trying to take back the neighborhood for. But you'll see mothers come out and want to fight the police because you got her son with a gun and drugs. Like, that's our fault. He just threw it, right? He just threw it in the gate. He just... I got the bag. Yeah, all right. Ah, this is my fucking thing. Shut the fuck up. Ryan, Ryan what was just I'm happening? He was selling drugs out there. What he did was he took the drugs and he threw them through the locked gate, and the guy ran with them up the steps. Open the fucking door, please. He's going in. What happened, Ryan? Somewhere here. They tried flushing most of the drugs that he threw up through there. Check that window. We got a good there. bit of them, though. Flushing them in the in the toilet? There's still some technical. Yeah, they tried flushing. You smell the marijuana in there, too? Yeah, I saw one or two coming They tried yeah, flushing most of them, but you got the crack. That's the crack there. This is the marijuana. Ah! Huh? Hell no. What were you doing out here? This shit crazy, man. I just, all I did was came outside to get a cab. That's it, man. That's it. I ain't do nothing else. Like, it's crazy. Ryan, My is this the guy that threw the... Yes, he's the one who, remember when we were standing out there, I said he threw it, he just threw it? He threw it to the guy up there. You're saying, so you're, you're, you're saying that the officers... I didn't throw anything. I didn't throw anything. He didn't see me throw anything. I didn't have anything. We did see you. We see you out there counting. You didn't... All, all you saw me do was talking to him. That's crazy, man. Would you imagine that these two guys are, what, low-level dealers? Yeah, well, whoever this is is probably cutting it up and selling it out of here. He's probably a little more than a... Sh I don't know. They're pretty low. They're pretty low. But I don't know whoever's up here. There was a, a lot of bottles that they smashed out here of the, the formaldehyde. So they could be cutting it up here. He could be a little more than a corner boy, but not much. Corner boy is like a low level. Thing. Yeah, the corner boy probably, the person at McDonald's probably makes more money than them. Spit it out! Spit it out! 
Spit it out. You're gonna lose it. Spit it out. Spit it out. Spit it out. Spit it out. He just swallowed it, I think. No. No. Spit it out of your mouth. Spit it out of your mouth. Spit it out of your mouth. You swallowed it. Swallowed it. Turn around. Swallowed it. I heard him go. What happened was, uh, I guess he came up to Officer Hagler, tried to offer him drugs. So as soon as he tried to stop him and told him he was the police, he ran, took it through in his mouth and swallowed it. See this? He got born on this hand. Yeah. And then thug, thug on this hand. Born thug. Why does it say born thug on your tattoos? To me, a thug is just a way of life, you know, like... You know, we are here struggling and everything, you know. So, what else? What, uh, what's gonna happen now? You gonna arrest him? Can't. Why? Swallowed everything. Uh, go home, call tonight. Call tonight. Do you feel for these guys at all, or do, are you kind of numb to it? <laughs> I'm numb to it. I don't feel for them at all. I work every day, mm. and uh, why should they be out here making the quick buck and you know making me chase them and everything else? I mean, I don't feel for them at all. I, I, I realize that there's hard places you could grow up, but there's a lot of people out here with jobs, and just like anything else, they can get a job, but they want to be part of the game, and they want to be involved in the thug life and everything else, so they stand out here and hustle and sell drugs. So I don't feel for them. No. Even when they get shot? I mean, you don't want to see anybody dead, you know, obviously. Uh, the innocent people that get killed out here, I really feel bad for the people that work, the people that are just, you know, caught in a crossfire. I really feel bad for them. People that have killed other people, people that have taken gun pinches, people that have taken drug pinches, uh, people that hurt other people. I mean, I can't say that I really feel bad. I, I really can't. I wouldn't, I don't want to see it happen, but I'd rather everybody clean their act up. Yeah. I was back with Hunter. Part of his routine is building relationships with all segments of the criminal community, from the top dealers all the way down. He'd offered me an insight into the world of the street users. How old are you? I am 25. 25? How long have you been doing heroin? Since I was 21. How many bags do you do a day? 24. You do 24 bags a day? That's $240 a day you're spending on dope. How do you, how do you pay for it? Because that's a lot of money, $240 a day. Uh, you're not getting locked up. I'm not, trust me, you're the only man in my world. Okay? I, I know how you do it, right. I figured it out. Okay. You're her friends? Yeah, you saw some. I don't know who she is. No. no. They just, the one you have in common is you're buying heroin over here on Swanson Street. Um. How many bags I, do, you, do you do a day? Um. Actually, maybe like one or two. I just relapsed okay. within the past four days. Did you, you just copped re in the last hour or two? Yeah, Did you, yeah she, was, three she you? was shooting up as we came over. Were you? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How long are you good for then? Maybe an hour or two. Two hours. And then you'll go score again? Yeah, I'll, I'll, probably, I'll score in between there. Though. If I get money for it, like, I'll score before I get sick. But I'll do, in the next two hours, I'll do at least another nice four or five bags. So you have to score again in the next no, no, no. couple of hours? Answer, I make money. Yeah. Yeah. You have to make money first? Yes. I just spent all my money. You just spent all your money. Right. So you have to... Yeah, because I have... I don't have just a dope habit. I have a dope crack coke habit. How come you... you get high out here? Why don't you just score and then go home and get high at home? The guy I live with, like, he's an older guy my sugar dad, too, but... He kind of a little violent, so I keep coming in now. Kind of, I don't want to get beat up, so I stay out here. We've been looking at, you know, what's behind the crime and the homicides, right, here in Philly. Well, you just, yeah, I just got one of the answers. Is this? Is this uh, how does this feed into that? Because these guys obviously aren't killing or, or attacking anyone. 
Well, they, 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 they would be responsible for what we saw, burglaries and maybe street robberies to get the money for drugs. The homicides are the...